the Story Guide homepage tutorial. In this lesson, you will explore the various topics lists found in the homepage of the Story Guide. You will also learn how to navigate between the topics. In Dramatica Story Expert, either create a new file or continue with the Hansel and Gretel project. Save regularly as you progress through this tutorial. Click on the Story Guide icon or use the Project Story Guide menu command. This brings you to the Story Guide homepage. The Story Guide has many different step by step topic paths to guide you through the story development and analysis process. In this lesson, we'll explore several of them with a focus on how to get around in the Story Guide. On the left side of the Story Guide window are buttons that lead you to the major sections of the Story Guide. Push the Story Guide button. This is the place to start for those new to Dramatica and has three levels of complexity, level 1 being the simplest and level 3 being the most robust. More information on using the Story Guide for story development may be found in the Using the Story Guide tutorial. Let's go back to the home page by selecting the View Home menu command. Click on the All Topics button on the home page. We are now looking at the All Topics introduction. This is an informational topic. On the left side of the Story Guide window is the Topics list. The Topics list is a series of topics and subtopics specific to each topic path. Expand the main character topic by clicking on the Disclosure Triangle. A whole bunch of subtopics are displayed. Click on the MC Backstory topic. This is where you would describe the main character's life prior to the start of the story. Click on the MC Synopsis topic. This is where you would describe what happens to the main character in the story in general terms. Click on the MC Symptom topic. This topic lets you describe what the main character thinks his problem is, even though it's just the primary symptom of the true source of his personal conflict. This topic also lets you make a story forming choice, which is explained in greater detail in the Making Story Forming Choices lesson. The focus of this lesson is to show how to navigate through the story guide. With that in mind, let's take a look at the navigation controls. The story guide navigation buttons are located in the upper left corner of the story guide window, just above the topics list. From left to right, the buttons are back and forward, which work like the back and forward history buttons in a browser. Home, which takes you to the Story Guide homepage, Previous Topic, which moves you up the topics list, and Next Topic, which moves you down to the next topic in the list. Now let's use them. Press the Back button. This brings us back to the MC Synopsis topic. Press the Back button once again. This brings us back to the MC Backstory topic. Press the Previous Topic button. This moves us to the MC Synopsis topic. Press the Next Topic button twice. This brings us down to the MC Domain topic. Press the Home button and we find ourselves back at the Story Guide homepage. Click on the Quick Story button. The Quick Story topic list is one of the fastest ways to get to a single story form in the Story Guide. Once you have become familiar with the story forming process and how it works, this might become one of your favorite topic lists. Click on the Home button to return to the Story Guide homepage. Click on the Instant Dramatica button. These three topic paths were drawn from the book Dramatica for Screenwriters by Armando Saldana Mora. These are intermediate to advanced topic lists and require that you be down to a single story form before working with these topic paths. Click on the Home button to return to the Story Guide home path. Click on the Scenes and Chapters button. The Scenes and Chapters topic list allows you to create scenes or chapters to create the basis of a step outline or treatment. Though Dramatica Story Expert is not the place to write your finished work, this topic list allows you to begin weaving together the various elements of your story. You can find out more about this in the Scenes and Chapter lessons. Click on the Home button to return to the Story Guide homepage. Click on the Other Topic Paths button. The seven Topic Path buttons on this page 
lead you to a variety of different paths covering specific topics, such as the topics found in the Story Points window or topics only concerning the main character. Click on the Home button to return to the Story Guide homepage again. The Story Guide has another tool that lets you get to the path you want in one step, no matter where you are in the Story Guide. Located immediately above the Topics list and below the Navigation buttons is the Topic Path pop-up menu. Click on the Topic Path pop-up menu and you can see every Topic Path listed. For example, select the Instant Dramatica Topic Path and you are transported there directly. Notice that Instant Dramatica tells you that you are not down to a single story form, which is a requirement for using this Topic Path successfully. Clip on the Topic Path pop-up menu again and select the Analysis Topics path. This topic may be used to provide notes if you are doing an analysis of someone's work, even if it's your own. Click on the Overview icon in the Icon toolbar. This switches you to the Project Overview window. Click on the Story Guide icon in the Icon toolbar. Notice that the Story Guide remembers where you were the last time you were there. Click on the Home button to return to the Story Guide homepage. Click on the Overview icon in the Icon toolbar to go to the Project Overview window. Save your changes by using the File Save command. This ends the Story Guide homepage tutorial.